is standing up. What's standing up? Do you even have to ask? Your flag po Oh my god! His what is standing up? Oh no, from just talking? Get the hell out of here. He said, no, I wanna join in. It's not a party. This we ain't having no, you know, no. How's it going everybody? My name is Jazzy Guns. Bang bang, gang, gang. Let's get back into this game. Bang and Rampa. Trigger happy havoc. Now, we just started, okay? The school is basically a prison, unless I kill somebody. But there's a lot of reading, and this time your girl got her some water. No, it's not lean. Cause y'all always think when I'm drinking out of a red cup, it's some alcohol. No, it is freaking water, okay? Thank you. My, my mouth is going to get dry as I read all this stuff, so I have to be prepared. Before I dive in, make sure if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. If you're new, leave a like for your girl, post social media, all the good stuff, and let's begin. All right, chapter one, to survive. <laughs> <laughs> says, so, what are you gonna do now? Okay. <laughs> so just stand around glaring at each other? Her pointed comment was directed at everyone in the room. It helped pull us back to reality. He said, right, she's right. Sometimes, even if you're nervous or afraid, you just have to step forward to forget <laughs> such a simple fact. I can't forgive myself. I'm so ashamed. Dude, calm down, okay? We just got told that we have to murder somebody. We're supposed to be shot. If we're not, we might be a little psycho, okay? You hear me? Please, someone hit me. I can't forgive myself. Somebody hit me. Punish me. I won't be the first one. I'll do it. Huh? He said, Jesus, if you have time to yell about it, you have time to do something about it. Thank you. However. Perhaps. But what is the mission exactly? Stupid. Idiot. To look for a way out. Duh. <laughs> he said, and we totally need to find whoever was controlling that stupid bear and beat the hell out of him. I like what? her. He said, but before we do all that, maybe we should take a look at the handbook. It's probably best to check out the school regulations that he mentioned before doing anything else. This is fine. True, if we stumble around with no clue about the rules are, of what the rules are, something like that might happen again. The shit. Right. <laughs> fine, so then... then let's hurry up and check out the stupid rules already. Okay, so let's look at the e-handbook. What's, what's in here? Okay, has my name here? After tuning on, turning on my handbook, the first thing that appeared was my name. So just like Monokuma said, the owner's name showed up front and center. Then from the main menu that popped up, I selected the school regulations icon. Okay, students may reside only within the school, leaving campus is an unexpected use of time. Okay, nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution, okay? Sleeping anywhere other than a dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punish a How? If we're in a hallway, that's Okay, whatever. Whatever. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. Okay, violence against headmasters is strictly prohibited as this destruction of surveillance camera. Okay, so we can't tamper with the cameras. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened, blackened, will graduate unless they are discovered. What does that mean? Blackened? Do I become like a Grim Reaper? Like what, what does that mean? Additional school regulations may be added as necessary. So they're gonna just add new rules if we do something. Feeling a slight dizziness, I raised my face up from the screen. As I looked around, I saw the, sw the same stormy expression on everyone's face. Stop that this is bullshit. What the hell kind of rules are these? I'm not gonna let them control me. <laughs> well then, why don't you wander around the school without a care in the world and see what happens? Personally, I would love to see what happens when someone breaks one of the rules. However. But if he got punished like what we saw before, I don't think there'd be a respawn way for him. He's like, even though this is a school, this is not a game, but low key, it is a game because y'all are in it. I don't think y'all respawn, so it's not one of those games. If it was like a Fortnite, you know, reboot band, you would have been fine, but that's not here, so. He's like, all right, ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my older brother pounding this into my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it, even if it kills and him. So what? what? <laughs> I made a ton of promises that I still have to keep, so that's so what. Piece of shit. So I can't afford to die in here. He said, none of that made much sense to me, but are you saying you will follow the regulations? Is that that's it? true. He said, well, yeah, I guess you're right. I have a question. For regulation number six, what do you think it means exactly? Right, I said that. What does blacken mean? What the hell does blacken mean? You're talking about the second half, right? Where it says, unless they are discovered? I was wondering that myself. It's saying that if you want to graduate, you have to kill someone without anyone finding out it was you. Oh, what? He said, why do we have to do that? 
I don't see any reason to worry about it. Just worry about following the rules as they've been explained to Such us. Ignorant. Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. <laughs> don't jab at me. Break. More like a full on stab, right? Right. He's just shady. He's just rich and shady. Like, God. <sighs> Well, for now, let's forget all that silly junk about murderers or whatever. Okay. Now that we know the rules, let's start exploring the school. True, we need to find out where exactly we are. Is there any way out? What about food and supplies? There are tons of questions we need to answer. Damn straight, okay, let's all start looking around. I'll be going alone. What? Is it why? That's a pretty stupid idea, don't you think? Someone here might already have started thinking about murdering one of us. Are you saying we should stand around with them in our midst and make it that much easier for them? Hold on a second. Wait, hold on a second. That would never... So don't bother saying it couldn't happen. You can't deny the possibility. Well, I guess he's right. The only thing that I would say, though, is because they just, they just talked about um, being discovered if you're the killer. So if we move in packs, wouldn't it make sense that if one does kill someone, we would see them kill that person if we're in a group? And so then that will make them discovered versus if you walk alone and nobody's there to witness it, then they'll never be discovered. That's just what I'm thinking. I don't know. Am I wrong? But, so I'm simply acting in accordance with what I think is best just for me. Just hold on. Hold on. Like, hell, I'm gonna let you run off and do whatever you want. Out of my way, Plankton. Ooh. What? I said, that's, what is that supposed to mean? He said, one tiny bit of plankton drifting across the sea, so minuscule, so insignificant, they couldn't possibly have any kind of influence on a balanced ocean. Yo, he gonna die first. He's gonna die first. The gang leader is going to kill him, okay? He said, I'm gonna kick your ass. Stop it, we shouldn't what? fight. He said, what did you say? You some kind of goody goody, you little bitch? Ooh, 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 who do you think you are talking to me like that? He said, you think you're a fucking dad or something? He said, no, I wasn't. He said, screw you, basically. He is a foul mouth, okay? I would say all the cuss words, but I feel like I'll be saying it too much to get demonetized. <laughs> oh, he punched him. He punched me, and I flew back in a heap. You better get up. You better get up. I didn't even see the punch coming. It was just suddenly right there in my face. One second, I'm standing there. Next thing, soar through the air. <laughs> now that I think about it, maybe I'm kind of forgotten the, pe the kind of people I'm trapped here with. My common sense had just stopped functioning. Being around all these ultimates had blown my fuses. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised that led to something absurd as this. Absurd as this. But I just lost track of that sense of reality. That was my last thought of my consciousness started to fade before it finally cut out completely. Oh, he got knocked out. He got knocked out. And when I finally opened my eyes again, what I saw was a room. Oh, this is my room? Oh, where am I? It had been part of my daily routine. I woke up in yet another room I've never seen before. Okay, so where am I now? Oh, so you can see the whole chat from here. Okay, cool, I got that. All right, let's look. Okay, so I have no windows in here. What is this? It's some kind of lint roller, okay. And what's that over there? It's a notepad, I guess the school must have given one to each of us, and I have a surveillance camera right there over my freaking bed. I hate the idea that somebody's watching me right now, we're not allowed to mess with the cameras. Is that a seat? Okay, so, oh, is that a key? This must be the key to the room. My name's written on the keychain, which means it must be mine, right? I better hang on to it for now. Okay, so let's, let's look around. Uh, okay, anything else here? All right, let's look at this. What is that right there? There's a piece of paper hung up on the wall which says, Announcement from Headmaster. Each room's lock has been designed to completely protect against tampering or lock picking. Remaking an individual room key is quite troublesome, so please make sure not to lose yours. Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that the water is turned off at nighttime. Okay, so I can't take a shower or flush the toilet at night, so okay. The bathrooms in the girls' rooms include a lock of their own. Oh, why? Finally, we prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit, and for the boys, a tool kit. The sewing kit includes a map of the body's vital organs. One stab will do the job, girls. So he's aiding them? For boys who believe a strong blow to the head with any of the tools should be ample. Don't think, just feel, and let's all enjoy ourselves. So this headmaster basically gave the men hammers and everything to knock our heads off and gave girls sewing kits. But I think that was a big clue. I think that was a big clue to who might have killed who, okay? Because the boys were all giving tools. So if you see that somebody died from a tool, most likely it came from a boy. And if they died from a sewing kit or whatever, 
like a scissors or needle or some something like that, then it might have been a girl. But it could throw us off too because somebody could just take hold of what they have and make it think that it's one of the girls when it's actually a boy or a boy and actually a girl. But who knows? That's what I'm thinking right now. So, okay. All right, let's go over here. Let's go to the bathroom. Okay, it's not opening. It's, I guess it's locked. So I can't go to the bathroom here? Some kind of monitor. Okay, whatever. Okay, so let's get out. This is some and some rooms have locks. Okay, so what? So can I not use it? Can I not use what's in there? Okay, what's that? It's just an everyday trash can. All that's in the trash is this paper I threw away. Oh, what is that? What was that? What did I just get? <laughs> what did I just get? All right. Oh, there might be something inside the drawer. So what's in there? Looks like there's something in there. Oh, there goes the toolkit. I don't really need it right now, so I'll just leave it here. Okay. I think I'm starting to understand this room must be my room. Okay, this is my assigned dorm room. Okay, that's obvious. All right, we got it. That's obvious. So what's everyone else up to now? There's only one way to find out, and that's to get out of here. Okay, so let's go. I rushed out of the room to meet up with all the others, but there was someone waiting for me there. It was like something out of an old TV show. Oh my God. Oh, she want me. Look, look at her. Look at the angle they got her at. Look. Oh, Sayaka? Yeah. Sorry. Are you okay? She wants me. Uh, I'm fine. I hope you're okay. Mm. Sorry about that. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. She stood up slowly. Huh. What you doing here? Are you okay? Are you hurt? You said you make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know how I look, but I've actually built some pretty good muscle jumping up and down on stage. That's good then. But are you okay? You know from when Mondo hit you? That's true. I got knocked out right there in front of everyone. I guess I revealed my lack of cool right from the beginning. I said, oh, I'm fine. Nothing wrong here. I was kind of worried. Thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? Actually, I came to get you. You came to get me? If you really are feeling better, I was hoping you could come to the dining hall. You the see? dining hall? After you got knocked out, everyone's decided to go do their own thing. We decided it would be more effective if we split up to investigate. So we agreed to get together later on and talk about what we found out. So does this mean it's almost time to get back together? If that's what's going on, then of course I'll go that's with you. Good. good. I'll go on ahead and meet you at the dining hall then. Okay, cool. So that, oh, look at my little picture here. It has like a little photo so you can know exactly whose room it is. Oh, damn. I got, damn. I got the dude who just beat me up. His room is right across from me. Can I go in there? No, I can't go in there. Okay. And that's the rich dude. Okay, let's, let's make note of who's next to me. Okay, so the pop idol's next to me. All right. Who else is right there? Okay, that's Kyoko. That's the one that I want to figure out. Okay, that's the moral compass. All right. Let's see who else is down here. Junko, Toko. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Sakura is right there. All right, I'm just taking note of who might be at the end. Okay, Hifumi is at the end. Okay, that's the garbage. I don't know. I'm going to leave that alone. So we're going to go over here. All right, let's go in there. All right, time unknown, chapter one. This must be the dormitory dining hall. Um, it looks pretty clean, so that's good. I guess it's not really important right now, but with us being prisoners here and all, nobody was waiting for us. We don't really have much choice. I guess we should wait here for now. Okay, let's just wait here. You like heard that? I'm psychic. So are you psychic or not? Like, are you psychic or not? Come on now. I just have an amazing intuition. Is it really intuition? I feel like she might be a clairvoyant or something because she keep on guessing what I'm thinking. It's kind of sudden, I know, but here comes a tutorial. Right now I'd like to tell you, oh, reactions, hey. <laughs> so you're gonna be talking to Sayaka, right? While you're talking to her, some purple words are going to appear. Here's how they work. When purple words show up, if you press the triangle button, you'll go to reaction mode. At this point, you can use the directional buttons to make a selection and the X button to confirm it. Also, when it comes to that dialogue, you review whatever you talked about to look for more info. Talking to someone about things like this is called a reaction. Okay, do your best to enjoy whatever important school life. Okay. It said, you have gone ahead and used it already? Well, that's just wonderful. Make sure you keep it in mind. Okay, cool. So, anybody else in this room before we start talking? All right, let's talk to you. Hey, um, By the way, what is it? It's just, I know this kind of 
continuing self introduction thing, but I want to ask you something. Let's see. Continuing our self introductions. We kind of got cut off before, but I had a question I want to ask you. She wants to ask me something. I wonder what it is. All right, so what is it? Hey. Um. Um. Let's see. What did you want to ask me? Did you happen to go to Black Root Junior High? Were you maybe in class two? I was. I knew it. I went there too. I was in class four though. Do you remember me? Do I remember? <laughs> Even back in middle school, she was a celebrity with all kinds of ultimates surrounding her. How could I forget, almost as surprising as her question was, that she remembered me? We've never even talked to each other, but somehow she still knew who hey, I was. Um... Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just surprised is all. I wouldn't have thought you'd remember me. <laughs> we went to the same school for three years. Of course I remember. But that's true. But there were lots of students in our grade, right? Plus, I've never seen the t I've never been the type of person to really stand out. I'm average at everything. All my hobbies is horribly normal. Even normal people call me boring. Look, dude, I'm gonna need you to have more confidence in yourself, okay? You keep calling yourself average, normal, whatever, standard. You're here. You're here for all the ultimates. So you the ultimate something, okay? You the ultimate average, okay? Like, get over it. God. So what are you talking about? You're so strange. <laughs> She started giggling even louder. That somehow mysterious smile of hers made my heart grow calmer. Her smile was the nicest smile I've ever seen. That's good. Anyway, I'm really glad that I know somebody <sighs> here. Talking to you has made me feel a lot better about all of this. You're amazing. They say, I'm really not. I'm nothing to compare to all you ultimates. But you're the one that helped me find my courage again. Not any of those ultimate students. Thank you for okay. saying that. And to thank you for helping me out, I'm going to become your ultimate assistant. Oh, I got a little secretary. Okay. I'm your assistant now. I'm going to help you out as much as I can, so let's get out of here together. When she says things like that, it gets me pumped, which is nice, but still, everyone still is late. Besides that, I don't even know what time it is right now. There must be a clock around here somewhere. Okay, there it is. So let's look at the clock. Okay, and there's no hands on it. That's good. Seven o'clock at night? You were unconscious for a pretty long time. Without being able to look out the window, I've lost all sense of time. If I have to stay in this place for too long, I might just go hey, crazy. Um... I can't believe no one's here yet, but I'm sure they'll start showing up soon. Almost like he timed it. Taka threw open the dining halls right as I said that. Hey! Say so, hey, so you two got here first, huh? Too bad, I was sure I'd beat everyone here. Mm -hmm. I guess that means I don't have enough fighting spirit yet. Okay, dude, calm down. He <laughs> said, so, that's a bit much, don't you think? <laughs> just calm down a little bit. And soon after that, everyone else came strolling in one after another. After a few minutes, everyone had gathered in the dining hall. It looks like everyone's here. Mm. Time to start the meeting. Let's all go around and share what we found out during our respective investigations. Okay. The sooner we find out what's going on, the sooner we get out of here. Uh-huh. Okay. Hold on a sec. What are you talking about? He said, what's wrong? Mm. He said, what about, what's her name? You know, the silver haired girl. <gasps> oh, Kyoko. Oh, she's not there. Mm. What about her? She's not here. <laughs> I took another look around the dining hall. Sure enough, she was nowhere to be seen. I wonder where she went. Has anyone seen her? But everyone just shook their heads. So nobody seen her? Why hasn't she shown up yet? Could it be because she's gonna kill someone? She's gonna kill someone. She's gonna kill somebody. Is it possible? Was she really? No, I'm just overthinking things. You're really going to be late on this first day of school? Not only is she late, she didn't tell anyone it should be late. A most unbecoming personality trait. Now, I I agree with that. I agree with that because like when I was a manager at, at like the other places that I've worked at, if you were late, that was one thing. But if you tell me, if you don't tell me that you're late or you're running late, I'm gonna have your head, okay? So I understand his frustration. So you're being a real jackass right now, you know that? Well, what do you want me to do? Punctuality is everything. Now then, I declare the first session of the Hope Speak Academy briefing meetings has begun. Is it actually, first of all, I've talked enough. Maybe we should listen to what everyone has to say. Okay, let's do that. You know, I feel like I really have become your personal assistant, don't you agree? She knows what she's doing. She knows what she's doing. Is I may not be the best assistant in the world, but I've given it everything I got. He said, you've already done so much as my assistant. He said, so since you're in the dark about all this, let me lay out what's been going on. Everyone split up to investigate different parts of the you building, see. but Byakuya and Taka each went off on their own, and so did Kyoko. Oh. I wanted to try and find some clue as to who's responsible for imprisoning us here, but unfortunately, I made no such discoveries. That's all for me. Really, that's it? 
And say, if I just uncovered anything, naturally I would have had more to say, but I didn't, so I don't. Dude, your attitude doesn't need to be here, okay? We're all stuck here just like you. So now, no amount of your money could fix this situation, so shut I spent some time looking around the dormitory, and I made a discovery of the century. I found out there was one, ex there was exactly one room for each person. I figured that out before anything yeah. else. Each door has already has a nameplate on it, so I guess all the rooms have been assigned already. Each room has a key. Oh, and each room key was attached to a keychain with the owner's name, Precision, etched onto it, which confirms that the room I was in was my room. And Shahiro and I found out that all the rooms are totally soundproof. Um, Your next door neighbor could scream their lungs out and you wouldn't hear a thing. <laughs> well, each room also had a private bathroom, which could also lock. Mm. But it looked like there was only locks in the bathrooms in the girls' dorms. But when I checked my bathroom door before, it definitely seemed like it was locked. That's weird. I should double check hey, that later. Okay, so they got a bunch of rooms ready for us. They're assuming we're going to be here for a while. Better to have that than to have not. At least we don't have to worry about surviving like wild mm. animals. That can't be all you have to report, can it? Oh, you got more to say? So let's move on to whoever's next, huh? Might might be some more to you, sir. Um, all right, we went all up and down the school, double checking the windows and all the hallways and classes. We wanted to see if we could get any of those metal plates to come off. And what happened was nothing, not a damn thing. We couldn't get a single one to budge even a little bit. There wasn't any hope of escape anywhere. The school really has been totally cut off. This, is bad. this sucks. Bad, bad, it bad, really bad, sucks. Bad. What the hell are we gonna do? Hey, come on. So calm down, you're starting to make me nervous. Okay, now let's see what the other people were doing as well. We thought maybe we could find some way to communicate with the outside, so we went looking all over, but we didn't find a thing, no. sorry. I went back to the main hall thinking maybe we could do something about that giant hunk of metal, what? but even with Sakura what? and me both, it wouldn't budge. We hit it with desks and chairs and nothing. Shit. It was hard as metal. Yes, indeed. Well, yes, it is metal. <laughs> Anyway, if we're gonna get out of here, it's gonna be through there. I feel like I could just cry, but no, I have to hold it in. I have to manage my hydration. <laughs> I shall tell you what happened next. It has nothing to do with communicating with the outside world, but it's still worth worrying about. In both the school and dorm areas, there was a set of stairs leading up to another floor. But there were gates there, and we couldn't find any way to open them, so we couldn't check it out. In other words, at this point, we were only able to search the first floor. However. We can further assume that there is potentially something above the second floor as well. And if that's the case, there's at least a chance it may lead to a way out. Huh. Okay, nice job, Sakura. Um, if I'm being honest, I can't quite say we acted as one. Rather, we did nothing as one. We spent the entire time in the gym. Honestly, we are not exactly the types to go running around the school like a gaggle of junior detectives. What the hell's wrong What the hell are you thinking just sitting around the gym the whole time? But it's not like any of you invited me along. Nobody said, hey, come with us. Okay, I'm gonna need you to stop getting your attitude whenever people don't include you. How about you speak up so that you can be included? Because this whole attitude that you give giving everybody else because you wanna feel included is not needed. I blame you for leaving me out. It's your fault. If you wanted to go with someone, you should have just said something. Thank you, thank you, Junko. That's what I just said. Forget it. Like, I don't wanna go anywhere with you, dirty slut like you. Oh, bitch, slut. Your mind is as thin as your body. You make me sick to my stomach. I don't even know how to react. How can you say something so awful to someone you just met? Hey, come on. All right, guys, just calm down, okay? All this stress is bad for your skin, okay? It's gonna give you wrinkles. <laughs> So yeah, it sounds like you two are so close now that you're fighting like sisters. I don't think this was going on. Hey, um... So that's what you have to say, huh? Then I guess I'm the only one left. All right. Um, so what you doing? That's good. So I guess we don't have to worry about food. What? But for now, even with all of that, there are 15 of us. How long can the food last? <laughs> you could just eat sesame seeds or something. So what am I, a bear keys? I'm not a bear bird. <laughs> I need food. <laughs> I don't think we have to worry about it. All the food gets restocked automatically each day. At least that's what Monokuma said. You saw him? Okay. Yeah, he came out of nowhere while I was checking the fridge. Told me that, then disappeared again. <laughs> he was so fast. I can't believe someone could have been moving around with him, moving him around with the remote control. That's... A weaponized toy that could just appear from nowhere. I can't tell if we're supposed to be afraid or not. But was everything okay? He didn't try to like eat you or anything. Eat her? What do you mean by that? I mean, when you say eat, what kind of eating are we talking? Dude, we are not talking about, you know, the, we're not talking about that. This dude is a pervert. He's a pervert. He's a whole pervert. We can't even talk about eating food. 
Come on. Bastard. What the hell, fatty? You acting like some kind of sleazy drunk dude. Actually. Not like there's a good kind of drunk dude. Hey, let's stop screwing around, all of you. Are you still asleep or something? We're prisoners here. We could all just die any second. She's right. We can't be making stupid jokes right now. We gotta do something. A voice cut through the noise, interrupting Mondo. You're all spending an awful lot of time yelling and carrying mm -hmm. on. Do you really think you can afford to do so? Have none of you accepted the reality of the situation? First of all, where were you? Okay, don't come in here saying that we're all being stupid, okay? What were you doing? Yo! Where the hell have you been? <laughs> she didn't say a word. Instead, she just dropped a piece of paper on the table. Oh, oh, she was mapping it. Oh, she wow. made it? It doesn't matter where I found it. It does matter. You're really freaking us oh, out right now. Hard. Never mind that. What's it mean? Just look at it. The building we're in right now is laid out in precisely the same way as Hope's Peak Academy. So what you're saying is this is really Hope's Peak it's Academy? True. In terms of the construction, yes. But it looks like it's had a number of strange renovations done to it. Renovations? I, I don't know all the details yet. All I found was details about the first floor. Um, but then this really is Hope's Peak. We didn't get kidnapped and take it to some other place. So stupid, it's not even possible. This is where the country's future elite are supposed to come and learn? But if this is really Hope's Peak, where are all the other students? Come on guys, let's just stop talking about this and you know, negative stuff. But aren't you worried? Things don't look good. Worried? What's there to be worried about? I mean, this was all planned out, right? The people in charge of Hope's Peak put this all together, right? Man, if I got stressed every time something like this happened, I'd have ectoplasm shooting out of my mouth. Good things that... Good things come to those who wait, right? So we just gotta chill and everything will work out for itself. Yeah, he smokes weed. I'm getting that he smokes weed. What are you laughing at? I'm just happy, that's all. It seems splitting up to investigate was a good idea after all. Haven't you been listening? Looking around with a total waste of time. We didn't find a way out, didn't find who's behind this, we still have no idea what's going on. It's not crystal clear to you what's going you on. Okay it's this? perfectly obvious that we have been in prison in some secret location with no way out. We didn't have, we didn't want to accept the reality, but it's staring right at us in the face. You didn't have to go and say that. I was trying not to think about it. No way out. We're trapped here. What are we supposed to do? It's very simple. If you want to leave, you just have to kill. Stop it. So don't even joke. <laughs> so everyone just calm down, please. We need to stop and think about what to do from here. There's got to be something we can do. All we can do is adapt. Adapt to living our lives from now on. That's okay. Live here? Are you saying you just accept it? Understand? A lack of adaptability is a lack of survivability. You know what? That is really true because I always think that too. Like instead of looking at all the negatives, well, first of all, you gather all the negatives and the positives around you and then you adapt to what's happening. You don't just sit there and be like, oh, well, this is it, okay? You just have to adapt and learn how to survive and get out of that place. So she's right. Survival is not based on who's the strongest or the smartest. It comes down to who can adapt. As someone who has come out on top more than once, I have a suggestion. What, what do you mean? Mm. We all understand that we are trapped here, which means we'll be spending the night. However, you all remember the rule regarding nighttime, right? It's 10 to 7 a.m., okay? Sleeping anywhere in the dorm is punishable, okay? So regarding this nighttime, I think we need to add a rule of our own. What do you mean? Going out at nighttime should be prohibited altogether. The school regulations do not actually tell us not to go out at night. I would like to make it official. Uh -huh. But why? Okay the way things are now, every time night comes, we will all start to get worried and anxious. We will all be afraid someone might try and come kill us. Yes, she's right. If we have to worry about that night after night for who knows how long, it will tear us down in no time. I see. So you're suggesting we limit our activity at night as a kind of preventative measure? Indeed. However, unlike the other rules, nobody can be forced to comply. We all have to agree to follow what it. What can we do? I see what you mean, but I think I can agree to that. It's like the little golf Lolita said, without something like that, we're just gonna self-destruct. Listen to me! On behalf of all the men here, I agree to comply. What? You can't just decide to speak this for us. Fine. So everyone is in agreement? Good. Then if you'll excuse me. Where are you going? It's almost nighttime. I want to take a shower before it arrives. Well. So, goodbye. Moving with pure elegance, Celeste left the dining hall. Her behavior seems so natural. I couldn't imagine anyone trying to stop her. Um. So I guess it's pretty obvious where we go from here. We'll be spending the night, it looks like. Adaptability. So, Mr. Chairman, what's next? One person already left. Well then, but can we call it, we can call an end to today's you meeting. Understand? Like she said, it's almost nighttime anyway. We can reconvene first thing tomorrow huh? morning. Do we really have to stay the night what here? We, do? we don't have a choice. We can't go for long without getting some sleep. So we have to just give up. That's all fine and good for today, but what do we do tomorrow? So in the end. Our only option is to split up and look around again and let everyone know if we find anything. 
Okay, let's do that. Then we're done for today? Good, I'm exhausted. With heavy movements, everyone headed off to their rooms. Are you ready to call it a day? Yeah, let's go. Is she gonna come to my room with me? Like, what's gonna happen? <laughs> Is this really where we'll be staying with the night? That's right, I should check the bathroom one more time. Only the girls' bathroom have locks on them, right? Wait, so the girls' bathroom have locks on them. So that means that they would probably have to go to the bathroom out in the hall, is that it? Or do they have a key for themselves to unlock it? I don't know. Okay, let's open it up. It's no use, it really is locked. Oh, here you go. Huh, not locked. Talk about an overreaction. It's like you just saw a ghost or something. Like some kind of robot bear ghost? Bitch, stop playing with me. What are you doing here? This is super duper majorly bad. So bad it's almost magical. Ultra magical, awful, awful attack. Uh -huh. In point of fact, I acknowledge that the bathroom in your room has a problem with the door frame. So the reason it won't open is because it's locked. The door just doesn't fit. Hey, um... Didn't you see the notice? Why can't you read? The bathrooms in a boys' room don't have locks. I mean, a lock in a boys' bathroom is kind of pointless, don't you think? Well, it's not that it's pointless, I guess, but I'm no expert on the birds and the bees and all that. Listen up. Anyways, there's a little trick to opening this particular ill-fitting door, and that's what I'm here to teach you. Okay, so... Yes, give it a try. Turn the knob and lift the door up while I pull. When I did that, it opened. <laughs> See, it opened right up. Isn't that crazy, though? Your door is the only one that doesn't fit quite right. I feel like he's setting me up, y'all. I feel like he's setting me up. So you're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But looks like you're not lucky okay. at all. Anyway, I suddenly don't feel like being here anymore. Bye. Okay, so he just drops in whenever he wants to. Okay. Oh. Uh-oh. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. Okay. It is now 10 p.m. It's At nighttime. Church, it is officially nighttime. Soon mm -hmm. the doors to the dining hall will be locked. And okay. entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay, then. Huh. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. I feel like he gonna bite us in our sleep. That's what I feel like. Okay, all I can do now is try to get some sleep. While still mumbling to myself, I collapsed to bed. Okay, he wasn't ready for bed, but he was exhausted. So this is how the curtain closed my first day at Hope's Peak. Soon enough, I was asleep. Would it be too much to hope that when I woke up, it'll, be, it'll all be a dream? It's kind of lame as far as endings go, but I'd be fine with that. Actually, that'd be the best. Oh? What the hell? In any normal school, Mr. Matakuma would be a kind teacher. When I think about what's coming up, I'm just so full of pride and joy. Our ceremony earlier today was absolutely splendid. Thank you all very much. Remember that you're all students of Hope's Peak Academy and strive to refine your ideals. I swear to you, I will send you. Okay. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. 7 a.m. is real early to wake up. I'm just like, get right ready now. to greet another beautiful day. Okay. Apparently it's morning, but thanks to the total lack of windows, there's no way to know for sure. Anyway, what should I do now? Maybe I should go find Sayaka and we can figure out where to go from here together. She did say she's my assistant now. Okay, let's head to her room. With a newfound determination, I left my room. Uh oh, what you doing out here? Hey. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, morning greetings are quite a delight. Such an energizing way to start the day. Now then, let's make sure we both do our very best throughout the day. Sure. I wonder if he's always like this. Okay, so let's go. Let's go to my assistant. All right, there's a doorbell next to the door. Maybe I should use that. Okay, hello. Good morning. Perfect timing. Listen, I have a favor to ask. A favor? I was just getting ready to head out, and if it's okay, would you like to come with me? Maybe we could talk. Okay, where are you headed? I've been thinking about that. There might be something around here that I can use for self-defense. Self-defense? I mean, whoever's keeping us here could show up and attack us at any time. You never know. Whoever trapped us here, whoever prevented us, presented us with rules for murdering each other, whoever put us in this insane position, she's right. We never know when they might attack. So I just want to be able to protect myself no matter what happens. A weapon to protect herself. Well, now that I think about it, that display case in the gem entryway had a bunch of stuff. <laughs> oh, the gem. Let's go. Like so said, she's psychic. psychic. She, okay. I'm just going to assume that she is psychic and that she's not kidding, okay? <laughs> so, no, I, I, don't, I don't think so. Okay, so let's go to the gem. 
For anyone who just hates walking around the school, we've got some good news. You can now teleport using the map section. Okay, cool. Thank you, God. Because I hate walking and running. Jesus, Lord. Okay, however, you can only teleport to hallways and marked waypoints. Plus, you can't teleport to places you haven't been or places that are blocked off. And depending on certain story moments, there will be times when you won't be able to teleport at all. Finally, try not to teleport inside any walls. There's a chance you can get lost forever. Well then, good luck. How the hell? Okay, whatever. All right. Let's look at the map. Let's see. Oh, there's a sword. We can do that. We can get a sword. Okay, so let's see. Let's look around. Okay. So what's over here? Let's see, let's look at the sword. I think the sword is what we should go after. Okay, oh, it's just a replica. Oh God, okay. I barely touched it and I got that gold stuff all over my hands. Uh, um, wow, you're right, your hands are totally gold, even just for self-defense. I think it's a little, it's better than nothing, I guess. You should take it with you. It might even help liven your room up a little bit. I guess you better be careful taking it back. You should wrap it in newspaper or something. And just like that, it's been decided. I don't see anything I could really use for self-defense. Don't worry about it. It's not like you need it, right? <laughs> Plus, if anything were to happen, when the time comes, I'll protect you. You'll protect me? <laughs> Thank you for saying that. If I've got you on my side, I guess I don't need a weapon after all. She giggled as she said that. I could tell it comes from the heart. It makes me feel at ease. When I look at her, I honestly feel like I can do anything. Okay, we can stop looking for a weapon then. But as long as we're here, let's hang out a bit more. Okay. So she's my assistant, maybe my girlfriend later on, though, Leslie. All right. Uh, let's look more at this. Okay. So what's over here? Okay, it's a helmet of some sort. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, what's up there? Okay, there's all kinds of stuff up there. What is that? It's a gold statue of Buddha. Why is something like that on display? And what is this? A plaque, okay. And this is some type of clay figure. Oh, oh, thank you. Well, I got another one. I got another medal. Okay, so let's, let's get out of that. And let's talk to you. I know I said I want to talk to you, but now that we're here, I really don't know what to Sorry. talk about. And I was the one who invited you to come with me, too. Sorry. I mean, if there's something, nothing to talk about, then can we just not talk? You don't have to force us up to talk. We could just stare off into space or whatever. But you're probably super bored just standing around doing nothing. Um, no, it's not that it's boring. It's just I've never really done it before. I don't have a lot of time to just do nothing, I guess, because she is idle. You're not a normal high school student like me. You've got tons of stuff to do every day. Um, that's kind of out of nowhere, but do you have a dream? What about you, Sayaka? What's your dream? I'd love to hear. My dream is I've always wanted to be a star, as long as I can remember. I grew up without a mother, you know. Aw. My dad worked really late every night. I was always home alone. I was just a kid, you know, so I was really lonely. But that all changed when I saw a pop star on TV for the first time. She was so pretty, like a princess, and she could sing and dance, but more than anything else, there was her smile. Looking at her smile, I could feel my loneliness melting away. I decided that's what I wanted to be someday. I wanted to give that kind of encouragement to others. <laughs> Eventually, that became my dream. So that's so amazing, though. You were able to actually fulfill your lifelong dream. Honestly, it's incredible. I... I did whatever it took to reach that dream. I mean it. Even some things that weren't so pleasant. Oh, Lord, what did you do? Don't tell me she went to the casting couch. Please don't tell me she went to the casting couch. You see. I honestly believe that as long as you kept chasing your dreams, someday they had to come true. But to do that, you can't take your eyes off the dream, not even for a second. Even if sometimes it's a bad dream, whether you're awake, whether you're asleep, to make your dream a reality, you have to keep your gaze fixed on it no matter what. Um, In that world, you, you lose focus for even a split second you get left behind. So you have to keep on swimming against the current without even taking time to breathe. That's the kind of world my dream lives in. Is it really that tough? Is it not fun at all? Oh no, don't get the wrong idea. It's super fun, but that's exactly what scares me. I enjoy every single day I wake up and get to do what I do. Same like me. <laughs> Everyone in our group is amazing. We're rivals in a way, but they all mean so much to me. We've been performing together since we were so young. They're all like family to me. Without them, I would have given up on my dream a long time ago. To work together and fulfill our dreams together has brought me so much happiness. But that's, but that's the thing that scares me the most. If the world gets tired of us and what happens, what happens to us? Then the dream dies. Those wonderful days come to an end and everyone goes their separate ways. She's trembling. She must be terrified. She works so hard and sacrificed so much. She's terrified of you losing see. it. So that's the reason I decided to come to Hope's Peak. 
What do you mean? Um, they say that if you graduate from here, success is basically guaranteed, which means I could keep on performing with my best friends forever and ever. At least that's what I thought. I really did believe that, but now we're trapped here with no way out. They're probably waiting for me. While I'm in here, the world out there is forgetting about me. Minute by minute, we're all disappearing. Oh, Lord. She's having one of those feelings like some YouTubers get when um they don't feel relevant anymore and people forget about them, and that's a terrifying feeling. Sayaka? I can't afford to be stuck in here. That was the first time I heard her cry out from deep within herself. She sounds desperate, but I kind of understand how she feel that way. Trapped here this way, the dream she put so much effort into is on the verge of disappearing. And that isn't something that can be fixed with a few kind words. The weight she's carrying, I can't even imagine sorry. it. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to complain. I kind of killed the mood. Sorry. I'm really sorry. Okay, it's okay. Are you hungry? Before we head back, why don't we go to the dining hall and get some food? So, okay. you want me to make us something to eat? I might not look, at, look like it, but I'm actually a pretty good cook. She said, what's your specialty? Chili oil. You mean the condiment? <laughs> Just kidding. Her earlier mood disappeared, replaced by the bright smile. But how did it happen so fast? It was almost like a mask, like some kind of neutral expression. Maybe she's used to doing that. Maybe she's used to putting on a smile because she's an idol. Okay, the only thing in my room is a fake sword covered in gold. All it does is make me feel that much more uncomfortable. Anyway, there's still plenty of time left in the day. I really don't feel like just sitting here. Maybe I'll take a look around. You're about to have your first experience with free time. Would you like to hear more? Okay, so let's see the map here. Okay. Oh, Junko's over there. Okay. Oh, what about you, Miss Lady? So let's see, let's see. Why? Why is Hope Speak Academy like this? Very bizarre, huh? Okay. And there's somebody in the laundry room, because I do remember that uh, the wee dude was in there. So I know they said go to Sayoka, but Oh, oh, you're in here now. Oh, the Junko magazines, huh? What you doing? What should I do? I'm kind of scared. Are you really trapped in here? Okay. Oh, oh, what's that? A vending machine. It's always nice to have a drink. Okay, cool. So, let's see. Oh, there's a lot of things you can look at. Okay. Well, let's let's get out of here. Let's let's go back to Sayoko. Okay. Sayoko, whatever her name is. Okay. God. You know, I'm so anxious, I really am afraid. Should I talk to Sayoko for a while? Let's see who else is around, because, um, well, she said she was afraid too, so, ha! Ah, uh, I'll spend time with you. I'm gonna try to cheer me up. Sorry for making you, taking your time out of your day like this. Okay, I did my best to comfort her. She was, she was worried. She grew a little closer today. Would you like to give her a present? Yes. What do I have? I don't have anything. I don't have anything! Um, he said, do you think you can make time for the two of us to talk? What's wrong? Why are you being so I... formal? I guess that was kind of formal. I just know that I can count on you. <laughs> Having you by my side would make me feel a lot better. Um, if you aren't here with me, I just don't know what I'd do. I'd be lost. That's why... I hate that we had to meet again under such an awful conditions, but I'm relieved you're here with me. Okay. It's nice, but it's kind of embarrassing. I know how you feel. You being here is what saved me. Really? Thank you for the flattery. That mysterious smile softens my heart. I really wasn't flattering her. That smile saved me. But it's kind of strange, you know? I never thought I'd get a chance to really talk to you like this. All through middle school, you never talked to me. In fact, I you've never even looked at me. It's because you were like a celebrity. I couldn't even just go staring at you. Wait, how do you know I never looked at hey, you? Um... Because I looked at you all the time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey. I was always looking for an opportunity to talk to you. You wanted to talk to me? But since I always had so many people around me, we ended up graduating without saying a word. That was one of my biggest regrets, but why me? Do you remember during our first year of junior high, that huge bird wandered into the school pond? Actually, now I think about it, I do sort of remember something like that. It was like out of a fairy tale, the turtle once every million years, that bird once every thousand. A huge bird wandered into the school pond during our first year of junior high. I think it might have been a... Crane? It was a crane. I just walked right into the okay. pond. That's right. That's what it was. It was so big, the teacher had no idea what to do. But you led it into the forest behind the school. You helped it find its way out. Only because I was already in charge of taking care of the animals at school. That made me you do see. it. <laughs> so I should have thanked you then, but is it okay if I do it now? I... I'm that crane, you see. I've come to return the favor. Here, let me give you... What is she talking about? What is she talking about? Is she reincarnated? <laughs> Um, okay. 
I was so impressed. That's why I always wanted to talk to you, even just once. Um, I never imagined this would be how I got my chance. If we met again at a train station somewhere downtown, that'd make for a nice dramatic reunion. But instead, it's this weird school. I... Maybe, but still. I'm sure you'd help me find a way out, just like that crane. You'll you save see. me. It's just intuition, but I still believe it. I'd still, I'll do my best. I promise that. I make sure that it's more than just intuition. If there's anything I can do, I'm gonna do it. I believe in you. Besides, my intuition always turns out to be like right. Said, Cause I'm psychic. Okay. She playing the psychic card a little bit too much. She laughed out as she said it. The closer we get, the stronger that smile of hers makes me feel. I was glad to feel that way. Okay, her report card has been updated. You just unlocked the skill Mel Melodious Voice. Give yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. Oh, so I can sing now? Once we're all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Okay, so I could sing? I could sing now? <laughs> As my eyelids began to slide closed, the conversation I had with Sayaka that morning began to replay. In a way, it's almost frustrating. Even if I understand where her desperation is coming from, I can't share in it. The pressure she's under is way different from anything a normal high schooler like me goes through. She didn't just stumble into the school the way I did. There's no doubt, I just, I just don't match up. I guess that might explain my own frustration. Oh, here goes the theater. What? What do you guys say? So now that you notice that the killing game has begun, but there's still room for a little laughter. It seems our newest students already so filled with despair still have some hope of escape. So when will it begin? When will their hope begin to die? Is it time yet? Is it time? Pounding excitement. Oh, God. Same message every morning. What should I do today? Okay, got some free time. Okay, so let's not spend time with Sayaka, okay? Okay, Sayaka's right there. Let's talk to Sakura. Sakura, what's going on, girl? What's going on? Hello, did you need something? Yeah, let's spend time with you. So what's going on, girl? I just got done exercising. Now would be a good time for a break. Would you like to get something to drink and talk for a bit? Let's go. We sat down for tea in a calm, relaxing conversation. Sakura and I grew a little closer today. Um, I would, but I don't have anything yet, so hold on. My post-training break is the most relaxing time of the day. The sensation of your muscles cooling down after heating up during a workout is the only true reward. No matter how many times I experience it, I never get tired of it. Do you exercise every morning? Unless there are errands that I absolutely can't get out of, yes, I always do my training. If I don't, I feel restless for the rest of the day. But I'm amazed you can do it every single day. Doesn't it get tough? I can't say I've ever seen it as tough. It's all so that I can get stronger after all. I have to keep on getting stronger because my destiny is to fight. Your destiny? From the day I was born, I've been fighting. Heaven sent me to live as its champion. That's one heck of a legend. My father was my master. My every waking moment was spent with him learning to fight. As a child, I sparred with boxing champions and hit the mat with wrestling gold medalists. I was no match for them when I first began, of course. But before long, they were no match for me. I like her. You mean you actually started beating people like that? Mm. I'd say my specialty is solid stand-up that my transitions into grappling in a strong ground game. Essentially, it's a complete approach. Anything else would just wouldn't make sense. You can only become the best by reaching the top of each discipline, then fusing them all together. Stand-up fighting, grappling, and a strong ground game. That could only be... Oh, what is that? What is that? That? You're basically a martial arts fighter, right? That's the most effective real world fighting style, which is why I chose it. I don't want to be just the best in competitions. I want to be the strongest human on earth. Okay. I wouldn't bet against you, that's for sure. But aren't you already the best? No, not yet. There's still someone I have to surpass, really? Until I can beat him, I'll never become the strongest. You mean there's someone out there stronger than you? Is it her dad? Maybe I'll tell you another time if the opportunity presents itself. She didn't make a sound. I, I can't believe there's someone out there stronger than Sakura. Even if they're real, can they really be human? Okay, her report card has been updated. Your maximum number of skill points has increased. Hey, look at you go. Hey. So let's look at the report card. So I already know about myself. Let's go and look at you. Ultimate pop sensation. Okay, she has a melodious voice. Okay, so let's look at Sakura and look at her report card. Okay, I am well trained in mar mixed martial arts. Max SP plus one. Okay. <laughs> now, let's see who's where. Okay, so Kyoko's in her room. Toko's in a room. Okay, they're in their room. Boy's bathroom. There he is, and in the laundry room, 
junk though. The kitchen is him, the main hall is you. Okay, so let's look at the laundry room. All right, what y'all doing in here? Each and every person has to do their job. The cooperation of each player is you teamwork. It. That's a quote from the famous rugby player, Yuji Matsuo. Matsuo. <laughs> we gotta do the same thing, cooperate so we can survive. Should I hang out with her? Yeah. Well, no, no, no. I kind of like Junko a little bit more. So let me look at her. I kind of like Junko. So let's talk to you. Hi. Hey, slacking off again, huh? Should I hang out with you? Yes. Hmm. Yeah, I'm bored too. Let's chill for a while. I spent some time with Junko. Junko and I grew a little closer. I have no present, so no. Hmm. Listen, I just want to make this clear right up front. Don't get the wrong idea about any of this, okay? What do you yeah. mean? I mean, I hope you're not expecting anything yeah. from me. Gotta keep my virtue safe, you know? Okay, so she's a virgin, and she thought that I was trying to do something. I'm not, okay? I don't want you, girl. I'm not expecting anything like that. Oh. I figure you're not that kind of guy, right? Looking at you, I get a total Omega male vibe. <laughs> but still, they say even the tamest guy can turn into a wild animal, so I figured I'd say it anyway. A wild animal? <laughs> don't ask me why, but I seem to attract guys like that. It's probably because she's so um, flashy. <laughs> They call me super, they call me up super late at night, like, hey, let's hang. Like, I don't know what that means. Let's hang, it sounds so simple. But why super late at night? And why does Junko seem annoyed at? It said, and why does Junko seem annoyed at? What? What type of sentence is that? Why is Junko seem annoyed at? Then hang out. Is that you just mean hanging out. Anyway, so we all get together, but the whole group's full of dumbasses. Keeping creepos like that away is a full-time job, you know. It must be tough. I mean, you're a model and all, so it must be really mm -hmm. popular. He said, you actually get it. You do get it, right? You totally get me. Totally. Listen, maybe I can introduce you to some of my friends sometime. So what's your type? You're super passive, right? So you need an aggressive girl. For real? I think that'd be good for you. Someone who'll go up, go up, at, go after you and not give up. Yeah. Because I really don't. I'll find a perfect girl for you as soon as we get out of here. <laughs> I hope you're as excited as I am. Okay, I don't really get it, but she likes hanging out with me. Okay, your maximum number of skill points has increased. All right, what you gotta say today, sir? Seems like it's the same routine every day. I need an immediate, fast-acting pick-me-up. If it doesn't act now, it's the same as giving in to regret. What do you think guides the world? Speed, of course. That's why Formula One drivers are so popular. Any idiot can accomplish something if they take it slow. Even a human piece of excrement could create a masterpiece if they spent their entire life on it. Someone who does things in a timely fashion is both wise and admirable. Straight is better than a curve or an angle. Freestyle is better than a backstroke or breaststroke. drive through is better than sit-down. A Sunday comic artist is smarter than a graphic novel artist. What I'm saying is speed is the gold standard of the world. I said I need that pick me up. Okay, then go get it. Another night of restless sleep. Day after day, I can feel the fatigue piling up. And as soon as that crossed my mind, oh, somebody's coming to my room. Who is it? Sayaka? Maybe? Who's at the door? Hey. Oh, hmm. what are you doing here? So without waiting for a reply, he bars into my room. Okay, so what do you want? So what's up? No matter how intensely the stormy seas may batter me, I will not fall as long as my feet are firmly planted. You agree, right? I'm not sure I understand. If you can't do it alone, just find someone to support you. You can support them back. That's how you can overcome any storm. I was thinking about it last night, and I decided we all really need to come together. And that's when I realized every morning from now on, after the morning announcement, everyone should have breakfast together. And that was the beginning of that fateful day. Please head to the dining hall. That's all for now. I have to go let everyone else know the good news. Okay, so I guess I'm going to the dining hall with everybody else. What are you doing? Um, I was just wondering what you're doing here. You should probably head to the dining hall, right? I just need to prepare myself mentally. I'm so nervous. Oh, I don't like that. I don't. I don't like that little laugh she did. I don't. I don't. I don't appreciate that at all. Let's see. Hey, what you doing, athlete? So freaking tired. The hell's wrong with that guy? Did he wake you up too? I guess he's going around waking up everyone. It's seriously annoying. I'm going back to bed. If anyone needs me, I'll be in my room. I don't think it'll do any good. I'm sure he'll just make you come back. Give me a break. Yeah, probably. I better just go then. And that's that. All right, so he's gone. What you doing? Hey. He said, can't any of you guys get a freaking clue? My mascara's totally clumpy. I don't want anyone to see me this way, but Taka came and woke me up. What a dick. You just look the same as yesterday. As if, it's like night and day. 
I seriously need to reapply, but there's nothing I can do about it now. Maybe I'll go see if Celeste can hook me up. And that's that. We've been in prison here, and that's what she's worried about now? Okay. All right, let's talk to you, buddy, since you want to have everybody here. Looks like everyone's here. So then, let's begin our very first breakfast meeting. Quiet down and listen. Okay, everyone, thank you for making time and your busy schedules to come together. I didn't make time for this shit. You dragged me here. I know I already mentioned this earlier, but in order to get out of here, it's essential that we all cooperate with each other. And the first step is this breakfast meeting to allow us to become friends and build trust. So from now on, let's all meet here in the dining hall every morning after the morning announcement. Now then, let's eat. Okay. You want me to eat breakfast with other people? I've never done that before. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's been a while for me too. Well, anyway, did anyone happen to come up with any clues? Silence echoed. Nobody got anything. <laughs> Anything. It could be about how to get out or who's doing this. Nobody has anything. Are you okay with this? You're going to die. Huh? Um, so let's stop playing. Do you understand? If you can't stop yourself from showing weakness in front of others, you will die. Stop it. What the hell? Don't freak a joke about that. <laughs> I'm not joking. Adaptability is survivability. Did I not say so? So you better hurry up and adapt to your new life here. What the hell is this? Have you gone completely insane? Adapt to my new life here? Do you have any idea what you're saying? What? Yeah, sounds like the girl what? wants to live here. And hell, more power to her. But shit, shit, no way in hell am I living here. I'm getting out of here. I don't give a shit. <laughs> so sure, feel free. Okay, so nobody has any clues. One thing I can tell you is who's behind all this. Someone who's totally weird and messed up. Who else would be... Why else would we be trapped here in the first place? Hey, listen. Well, sure, it could be something like that, but for right now, actual clues uh, are. Uh, What's up? Uh, if you think in terms of people who are really abnormal or bizarre, do you think people, maybe the person responsible for all this could be a certain murderous fiend? A murderous fiend? Jihiro, do you have some idea of who might be behind all this? Well, maybe. I can't really be certain, but certainty is not a concern right now. I'll allow whatever remarks you may have. <laughs> Okay, have you guys heard of Genocide Jack? Oh lord, the serial killer that's been in the news all over the internet? The monstrous villain who's murdered scores of victims in a brutally bizarre fashion? The word bloodlust was left at each murder scene, written in the victim's own blood. Whoever it is, he's like a ghost. He strikes without warning and disappears without a trace. And on the internet, they started calling him Genocide Jack. That about covers it, I think. They say he's claimed over a thousand victims. He killed over a thousand people and hasn't got caught? What? That's just an urban legend though, right? I mean, even like 10 people would be totally insane. Mm. Huh. Jenna, oh, why, why was she quiet? Hold on, why was the other girl quiet? Might be her. Huh? And if he really is his ultimate psycho, I wouldn't be surprised if he put together something like what? this. But like I said, I can't be certain. I don't have any evidence or anything. It's just a hey, thought. Hold on. But if they're this killer, isn't that like a killer of a problem for us? Yeah. It's okay, everything's absolutely, positively, 100% without a doubt gonna be okay. Cause help's gonna be here soon, I'm sure of it. Help? I mean... We've been stuck here in a few days already, right? Nobody's been able to contact us, so I'm sure they're getting worried. I bet they called the police already. Uh-oh. He's this? like, nobody's coming. The police, you're putting your faith in the police? So what are you doing here? Nice. You guys, seriously, do you understand what role the police exist to fill? All they're good for is being a foil, playing against a villain or anti-hero or evil organization. The bad guys come along and destroy them, and that just shows how badass they really are. <laughs> are you sure you want to rely on such an unreliable group of losers? Yeah. I mean, come on, you really want to get out of here. All you gotta do is kill. Oh, Jesus, why are you laughing? I'm just impressed at the total commitment to this whole act. So he really thinks this is a joke. Like, he really thinks this is a whole joke. You're still going on about that? So, Mr. Serial Killer Psycho Freak Bastard, what the hell do you want? Oh, huh, that's a pretty long name. German, maybe. We know who you really are. Maybe if I ignore him, I'll, he'll just go away. You son of a said, don't ignore me, asshole. Okay, let's get back to business. Your life here has already begun, but a couple days have gone by and nobody's killing anybody. I thought all you kids were lazy and selfish and here you are working together, but I'm totally bored. There's nothing you can all say that makes us start killing each other. Wait, I figured it out. All the mystery ingredients are here. Right people, right place. So why hasn't anyone killed anyone yet? That's what I couldn't understand, but I just realized there was one very important piece missing. 
What are you? If you want to know, I'll tell you. It's motive. It's so simple. I just have to give everyone a motive. He said, what are you talking about? By the way, there's something I want to show you guys. Stop changing the subject. I have a little video I'd like you all to see. But don't worry. It's not some pervy adult video or anything. Seriously, it's nothing like that. It's a special video for each of you showing what's going on outside the school. Oh, outside the school? What are you talking about? Master's so impatient today. Why don't you just watch it and find out? Here in the school, there's a specific place you can go that has everything you need to watch the video. Good, then we can go watch the video right now. But before we do that, I'd like to know, what are you? Why would you do something like this? What do I want from you? If you must know. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, the crazy face. That's all. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I don't like it. If you want to know more than that, you'll have to figure it out for yourselves. Do whatever you need to uncover that mystery hidden from within the school. I won't try and stop you. Because to be honest, it's entertaining as heck watching you guys search so desperately for answers. So I guess I want amusement from you. So the, we're his entertainment. We're like his TV show. Okay, got it. Once again, he left before we could find out anything Is useful. That right? I think we learned something very useful. He has no intention of standing in the way of our pursuit to the truth. However. Perhaps, but what about the video he mentioned? I'm curious to see what's on it. True. Same here, so let's watch it. Hell yeah. So check this out for us, would you? Yo. Cause you're closest to the door. That's the rule, right? Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Stop oh my god, around. you see how passionately I'm begging you? What's the big deal? Just check it out real quick. Okay, I guess I'll Hell get going. Yeah. Hey, All right. Um, can I go with him? It's not safe to walk around this place no. alone. Sure thing, then we're counting on a both of you. If anything happens, just yell and I'll come running. Okay. Um, I can't decide if Mondo is totally dependable or completely terrible. Yeah, I'd have to say he's kind of both. He's not exactly a bad person, but I definitely can't say he's a good person either. He's the anti-hero, okay? He does what he wants. Okay, where's the specific place Monica mentioned? It must be somewhere you could watch DVDs, but if it's a place set up to watch DVDs, then a, a hold on let's look at the map let's look at the map okay all right so let's go in here let's look at what whoa whoa let's look at the map okay oh who who's down here oh that's me okay 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 so that's the girls bathroom nurse's office main hall school store the av room we gotta go to the av room okay so we'll go straight make a left make the second left and then make a right okay got it so we'll go straight Oh shoot. Oh shoot, which way is it? Okay, wait, Where, which way am I? Oh wait, okay, so I go this way. Okay, so this is the AV room, so let's go in here. All right. Let's see, oh, there's a box there, what's that? Okay, so we can look at everything here, what's down there? Next to the monitor is a high DVD player, but I don't see any actual disc nearby. Oh, oh, thank you. All right, cool. Let's see, what else? Okay, there's a monitor there. Okay. And there's a camera over there, so let's look at the box. Okay, there's something inside. Oh, it's a bunch of DVDs. Each one has a label with someone's name on it. There must be the video for each of us that he mentioned. I better go tell everyone. Okay, I didn't follow after her. I just stood right there where she was. The DVDs in front of me had robbed me of all awareness. I was rooted in place. I think I see something. It's, okay. So let's let's look over here. Let's look at the camera. A surveillance camera. Okay, so that's another one. Okay. So anything else that we could look at? Or can we look back down here? Okay, maybe I'll just watch mine. I sorted the DVDs and I slid it into an expensive looking player. I sat down and stared intently at the darkened screen and then ooh, let's see. <gasps> Oh, what? Is this my family? I yelled out without realizing and my heart started racing because what I saw on that monitor, it was my family. Oh shit, they know. Hold you on. Getting picked to attend Hope's Peak Academy is like a dream come true. Uh oh. Make sure you do your best. I'm mm. so proud of you, son. But remember, don't push yourself too hard. Are okay. you really watching this, Makoto? Good luck, okay? Aw, he has a sweet family. After leaving my family behind to attend Hope's Peak, it would have given me hope, given me strength. If this was a normal school, I would have been happy, a little embarrassed. With my family's support to rely on, I would have been motivated. But here, it's totally different. I wasn't living in an ordinary life, so I had a pretty strong feeling that the video wasn't going to end there. I hated having that feeling, but I turned out 
I was possibly absolutely right. So what happened? Uh oh. I mean, oh no! Oh no! They're killing! They're killing him! They're killing him! Oh my God! My voice just died. Where'd everyone go? It looks like a war zone. As if in reply, a voice came floating out of the speakers. I recognized the voice, of course. It was him. Oh lord. They took his family. Something's happened to this family's well-being. Oh, oh my God! Boy, this is bad. What could have possibly happened to this family's well-being? Oh my God! Look for the answer after graduation. I gotta find the answer after graduation after I kill somebody. What happened to everyone? I start. Oh shit! Okay, I could feel the fear and anger building up inside me. God damn it! I slammed my fist against the desk. A single thought was racing through my mind. What else? How? How could I think about anything else? I have to get out of here. I have to get out of here. What happened? I noticed everyone was standing around the entrance to the AV room. They stared at me, faces full of confusion. What's going on? Without a word, I pointed to the cardboard box. Is that what he was talking about? What's on them? They all gathered around the box and each of them grabbed the DVD with their name on it. One by one, they rushed to a monitor. It didn't take long for them to react. I said, what? This can't be real. Yeah, no way it's real. I can't take it anymore. I can't take this anymore. As soon as I saw the reactions, I knew they all seen something like what I seen. Nobody even bothered trying to hide their fear, except for her. Kyoko? Yep. So this is what he meant by motive. He wants to fuel our desire to leave so that we're more likely to start killing each yes, other. Indeed. It is the classic prisoner's dilemma. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Let me use an example. Imagine two countries are on the brink of war. Both countries want peace, and each commits to scaling back their forces as a sign of good faith. But there's a chance that one country may betray the other, so each country fears lowering their guard. The result is that neither scales back their forces, and they both end up betraying each Do other. In other words, the fear of invisible treachery becomes the greatest enemy of stability. <laughs> that kind of sounds like us right now. Everyone says they'll work together, but in our hearts we're all afraid someone might betray us. Don't put those awful thoughts in our head. That's exactly what they want us to do. You can't say that, but maybe they're thinking that once everyone drops their guard, you can just... See, look, it's, it's unfolding in front of our eyes. This is exactly what they want, okay? They want us to fight, don't you see? You're right. We all need to calm down. Okay, then. Maybe we should all start by just talking. Maybe if y'all just talk about what we saw, that'll get everything out of our system. Besides, I think we're all super curious, right? I wonder what was in everyone's videos. I'd be lying if I wasn't curious. Hey Sayaka, what was in your video? What's your What's problem? wrong? Just hurry up and tell us. Sayaka? I gently placed my hand on her shoulder. Oh! She pushed my hand away and suddenly ran off. That's enough. Let her go. I can't do that. I have to make sure that she's okay. <laughs> I hate romantic comedies like this. I don't care what happens to her what? personally. That's because you're totally thoughtless. Um... I'm really worried. <sighs> then why don't you go do whatever you think you have to? We don't all have to stick around here. I hope you are well. Speaking of which, I have my own things to keep care of. What is she doing? I don't have time to worry about them right now. I have to go find Sayaka. But I kind of want to talk to y'all to see what was on your tapes. What was in your video? Huh. Okay, let's see if I can talk to anyone to see what was in yours. These videos are some kind of hoax, right? What the heck? What the hell? It's one big lie. It has to be. Okay, so he's worried, but he's optimistic. Everyone's really upset. How could I be calm? Okay, so what you doing back there, big buddy? What was in your video? Before you go asking someone else, it's always polite to say that you saw first. Are you why are you covering your ears? If I don't hear yours, I don't have to say mine. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's annoying. Okay. What was in your video? I'm sorry. My family. Oh, she was the only one that said it. But I'm not upset by what I saw. If you're overpowered, you must accept your death. That is the way of my family. But still, I refuse to believe they will lose so easily. How? Yeah. And what about you? You were so calm. Wow. Why should I tell you? Okay, so everybody's not telling me. Okay, let's go. Let's leave. Um. Where'd she run off to? That video is pretty convincing, but it's fake, right? It's gotta be. Okay. What you doing in here? I'm not gonna tell you, and that's all there is to it. I'm not gonna tell you, no way, no way. You're just acting all nice so we can tell you what you wanna hear, you what can't fool hell? me. What the hell did they get footage of that? Okay, so what was in yours, sir? Because you are acting crazy. You acting real crazy. Let's go to the store, let's see if I can buy a present or something like that to try to get people to open up a little bit. Let's see. All right, let's turn the knob. 
Let's give it a shot. All right. All right, let's use one of mine. Okay. What do, what do I do? Oh, okay. What's in it? I got an item. Ooh, is that a sword? I just got, hold on, let's try again. Huh. And that is a shirt. Let's do it again. All right, what's in there? Oh, a bow. Okay, so let's get out, let's get out, let's get out. All right. I should probably get going. All right, let's see. What's down there? Oh, thank you. Got another coin. Oh, Junko, what you doing over here, girl? More important. Are you super curious? <laughs> right, I could totally tell. But does that mean you're gonna tell me what's it? What is there? Eh. It all depends. I don't think she's gonna tell me. Okay, let's go. Okay, Miss Miss Mysterious, what you doing over here? What's up? What was in your video? Huh? <laughs> oh, it's you. You really want to know, don't you? Is that okay? There are many, many things in this world you are better off not knowing, don't you think? Okay, girl, I ain't got the time to deal with your riddles, okay? I don't. Okay, there you are, buddy. What you doing over here, huh? What was in yours? You gonna speak up? You gonna speak up? What, what was in your video? It doesn't matter. It's not a big deal. It's Shit. fake anyway. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Those assholes can't... Ugh. Those assholes can't fool me. I said those assholes. There she is! Jesus Christ! Okay, what is that? Let's look at this first. But that doesn't matter now. Okay, okay, let's let's talk to her. What is going on, girl? I found her in the corner of an empty classroom. She was sitting in a chair, hands on her knees, staring absently at the floor. She looked like maybe she was upset or angry. She didn't have any expression at all. There was nothing on her face that she could call emotion. If it was her original mask has been has been stripped away. Are you okay? Actually, no, how could I possibly be fine? What do we do to end up like this? Why are they doing such terrible things to us? I want out, let me out of here right now. As she thrashed around, I grabbed her by the shoulders. Get it, get it together. <laughs> so I understand, I know how you feel right now when I think what might have happened to my family. But now more than ever, we have to stay calm. This is exactly what they want. They want us to lose our composure and stop thinking rationally. Think about it, those videos have to be fake because if those things really had happened, Huh, people out here will be in an uproar. Our families, the police, everyone, right? I don't know. So let's just calm down, okay? Otherwise, we've already lost. You know, I was trying to convince myself as much as her. I kept repeating those words to myself. Be calm, okay? Be calm. As we work together, I'm sure we could find some way out of here. And help might even come before that. What if there isn't a way out? What if help never comes? If that happens, then I'll get, I'll, I'll get you out of here myself, no matter what it takes. When I said that, I paused. I had no idea what had come over me. He wants to protect her. Sayaka? Oh. Please, help me. Oh. Her voice was small Why? and shaky. Why is this happening to me? To kill or be killed? Mm. I just can't take this anymore. Sayaka. It's okay. We're all in this. She looked at me with those big, wet eyes of hers. Can I believe what you said? That you'll help me get out, no matter what it takes? Absolutely. You're the one, only one I can no trust, so please, happens, no matter what happens, please, please be there for, be me. there for me. I need you on my side. Of course, I'll be there for you, no matter what, I'm always on your side. You are my assistant, after all. Makoto. Thank you. Hearing you say that, I can feel like I keep I... going. I can get through this, as long as you're here with me. Like you said, I'm your assistant. Okay, so now she's going back to smiling. Is she bipolar? Okay. Hey, oh hey. lord, it's standing up. Oh my god. It's standing up. What's standing up? Do you even have to ask? Your flag pole. Oh my god. His what is standing up? Oh no, from just talking? Get the hell out of here. He said, no, I want to join in. It's not a party. This, we ain't having no, you know, no. If you won't leave, then tell us what the hell is up with those damn videos. It's about to come out. It's gonna come out. Have you seen pure white stuffing? My honest, innocent stuffing is about to come gushing out. I balled up my fist and took aim and swung as hard as I could. I could never put so much energy into a single motion before in my life. I leaned back, channeling all my power and let go of everything I had. Was are you okay? If I hadn't avoided your punch, you would have just violated school regulations. But boy, are you slow. <laughs> I could have downed a thousand dollar full course dinner in the time it took you to finish your swing. <laughs> your speed, agility, alertness, passion, boldness, sense of despair, antagonization, it's all lacking. And then he's gone. 
Okay, he just wants to mess with us. Um, For now, you want to just head back? Yeah. Okay. You should get some rest, Sayaka. You still look pretty sorry. shaken. I'm sorry for making you worry about me. You're right. I'm going to lay down for a bit. With a nod and a small bow, she disappeared into her room. Sheesh. Now on my own, I headed off to tell everyone that Sayaka was okay. Once that was done, I decided to go back to my room. It was hard to think about watching that deranged video. I needed some rest of my own. Jeez, seriously, what's going on here? There's just so many problems. I can't even decide what's the biggest problem is. That we're trapped in here? That what I saw in the video might be real? What's the mastermind has in store for us? Or are we our biggest problem? I want to get out of here, but I can never kill someone. Do the others all feel the same? Yeah, that's definitely the biggest problem right now. Oh, who's there? Oh, it's almost 10 o'clock. I fell asleep without even realizing. Nine times about to start. So how come someone's here? What's happening? Who's here? Sorry. Oh, sorry I came by so late. Okay, what's going on, girl? You want to sleep over? <laughs> what are you doing out so late? That's when I noticed her body was trembling. Is everything okay? Sorry to bother you, but something really weird just happened. Something weird? Just a little while ago, I was laying down in my room, and all of a sudden, my door started rattling and shaking. Her voice sounded like all the air had been squeezed out of her lungs. Just hearing her talk made me tense so up. It was like someone was trying to force the door open. My door was locked, so they couldn't get in, of course. But they started shaking the door harder and harder. I was so scared, I couldn't even move. So what happened? After a while, it just stopped. I let, somebody, I let some time go by. Then I got up and opened the door to check outside. Oh, no. There was nobody there. Someone tried to force their way into your room? But who could have done something I mean, like that? It's not like I'm suspicious of anyone here, but it still makes me nervous. What if something like that happened in the middle of the night? What would I do then? You don't have to worry about that, right? I mean, we can't go outside during nighttime, but, but that's just a promise we made, right? If someone decided to break that promise, then why don't you stay in my room for the night? Would that make you feel a little better? All it said was that we had to stay in the dorms. It didn't say that we couldn't stay in certain rooms. Hey, about to... About to get that flagpole touched, okay? Hey, um, is that two people sharing one room is, you know. Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. I didn't even think about that. Honestly, it didn't even cross my mind. Um, I said, no, I know me either. It's not that... It's not even that I mind the idea, but... If you don't mind, could we maybe switch rooms? Switch rooms? So you want me to go to the room that somebody just tried to fuck you up in and you want me to go? Okay, all right. If it'll help, then it's totally fine. I don't mind you staying in my room, but are you sure you're okay with me staying in yours? That doesn't, like, concern you? It's fine. I trust you. In that case, then, all right. It's already nighttime, so it's settled. I'll head to your room for the night. If we're going to trade rooms, we better trade keys, too. All right, we'll have to trade keys. Again? Like I said, I'm psychic. Oh, my God. Hey, aren't you going to say you were just kidding? What if I wasn't just kidding? Okay, whatever. I don't have time for her games right now. Let's trade the keys. There's another worried expression there. Please be careful. If someone comes to the door, don't open it no matter what. Same goes for you. No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. Even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of switching it? Oh, by the way, just so you know, my bathroom door tends to get stuck. There's a little trick to opening it. You have to turn the knob and lift it to open the door to pull it out. Just do that and the door should open, no problem. Okay, but the showers don't work during nighttime anyway, right? That's right, I totally forgot. But I guess I'll use it in the morning. Thank you. All right, see you tomorrow. Oh, what about I said before? When I said I'm psychic, it was really a joke. Honestly, I'm just very perceptive. <laughs> Good night. Okay, I think that she really is psychic. She's just trying to throw me off. All right, what's her room look like? Oh, like mine, but like with pink. Okay. It doesn't look any different. It smells nice, though. So let's see. Let's look at the bed. The bed itself looks the same, but knowing Sayaka slept on it makes me look forward to trying it out for myself. Oh. You want to get freaky? Okay. Surveillance camera, yeah, there's one in there. Okay, what's in her drawer? Okay, that's the sewing kit, just like the note said. Okay. All right, oh, what's, uh, what's right there? Okay, it's kind of weird to dig through other people's trash, but it couldn't help but take a quick, quick peek as she threw away. Oh, that reminds me, I never did get a chance to look at what was in her video. It's probably best if I wait until she brings it up again. Huh, okay, so let's see. Okay, one of the monitors. Okay, and then that is locked, right? Okay, he's reluctant to go in. I don't think Sayaka would like me snooping around too much. Man, I should probably go to bed. Okay, her scent. It will bring me sweet dreams. Okay, he's being a little creepy now. <laughs>
Imagine you're all in big spaceship in the middle of an intergalactic adventure. You've heard of Noah's Ark, right? We sort of are like that. We set a sail and left Earth behind. Here you don't have to worry about crazy neighbors, corrupt cops, drunk drivers, or pyromaniacs. You don't have to worry about the ozone layer or asthma-inducing air pollution. And of course, you don't have to stress about studying for finals or practicing for the big game. But even our divine world of freedom has a few rules. After all, freedom can only exist because of rules. If you're really dead set on returning to, to that tiny piece of dog poop you call Earth, please do your best to follow the rules. So then, let's uh -huh. everyone do our best to follow these new guidelines and live happily ever after together! I don't like his voice. Okay, everybody, what happened last night and who tried to come in her room? Okay, a few people already gathered here. <laughs> Hello, Makoto. Good morning. Can you believe it? It's the very first one here this morning. <laughs> hey, Morning. I suppose I'm early. Okay, I figured everyone who arrived on time could be considered model, model high schoolers and the ones who showed up a little late are yeah. not. Sorry. Sorry I'm late. My makeup which does not cooperate this morning. Uh, well, My apologies. Hello. My morning took a little longer than usual. We were the types of more relaxed since the time. Most high schoolers fall into this category. And finally, the ones who kept everyone waiting forever. Indeed. The one that never speaks. The one that's my mysterious. Bad, bad. The one that won't oh, let me look at his thing. Problem? And the one that's a freaking bitch, okay? Nope. I didn't oversleep just so you know. Nope, got lost. I blamed the Bermuda Triangle. What are you talking? What are you talking about? Okay. Regardless, everyone had arrived. At least that's how it's supposed to go. Hmm. Wait, aren't we still missing some people? <sighs> Sayaka and Biafia aren't here yet. I don't know about Biafia, but I would definitely put Sayaka in the model high school category. So for her to be late, huh? What's going on? Did something happen? Have you seen her? Why would I have? I just came straight from my room to be here. Did she forget our breakfast promise? I got the sense she's always has her stuff together. Listening to everyone talk like that, a small dark speak, speck of unease rose up inside of me. And that speck started to grow quickly. I need to go. I have to check up on her. Okay, we gotta see what's going on with her. Where I headed was first was my room, where I let her stay. But over the course of that one night, oh my God, the room I've been, oh, the door's open too, the bathroom door. What the hell? Oh my God, oh my God. There's my key, oh my God. And there's the thing that she tried to use it. It had been taken out of its sheath. Oh hell. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. The bed is wrinkled. The bed's been damaged, the lint roller moves. Okay, more importantly, where is she? I wanna check the room to make sure that everything is where it's supposed to be at. So the toolkit is still there. Anything on the notes? Okay, nothing there. All right, now's not the time to stare at that. Okay, that has been unsheathed. All right, the display store was there. Okay, where is she? Let's go to the bathroom. Better check. Let's take a look inside. Oh, oh! Oh my God! My assistant, she's gone! Hold on, it took me a second to realize when I saw Doug its way through my eyes and then she's dead. She is dead! Oh my God! That's how it ends? Are you okay? It wasn't a dream, what I saw, it was real? That's right, it really did happen. Sayaka is dead. How do you know? I shot up. Hey, where do you think you're going? I have to see for myself. I have to see if Sayaka is... Just give so you could check once, twice, a thousand times. Sayaka is completely and irrevocably dead. No, I have to see for myself. Listen to us. She's gonna... She's dead. I mean, what are we all hanging out in the gym at a time like this? Our friend Sayaka, she's dead. I realized she was really gone. Calm down. None of us want to be here right now either. Then why? Shouldn't it be obvious? Monokuma, he told us all to come here. Hold on, don't talk like that. We all protested it. I mean, we remember the terrible price Sayaka had to pay, but so... I'm the one who convinced him to come. Right now, we need to do whatever he says. We're his prisoners, right? It's not a good idea to defy him without reason. We don't need to make any more sacrifices than we already have. Why should we listen to anything he has to say? It's obvious he's the one who killed Sayaka. Wrong. I would never do that. If you believe anything, you can believe that. <laughs> here he is again. Hey, Unless someone violates the school regulation, I absolutely will not interfere. Interfere. I can promise you I won't do anything that goes against the purpose of your school Listen life up. here. I'm famous at safari parks throughout the world for following the Bear Times One rule. What? Who killed her? You already know the answer. The one who killed her is one of you. Oh my god. 
What's the matter, y'all? Look like you're about to see a dub get shot up with a Gatling gun. Don't you remember what I told you? One of you decided to kill Sayaka so she could graduate. Someone's just following the rules. There's nothing wrong with that. You're lying, right? Of course he's lying. Wrong. Nope. One of you is a killer. They wanted to, the one who did it could testify to that fact. Without thinking, I looked around at everyone. Everyone looked at each other with a combination of confusion. Someone killed someone? Just hold on. Hold on. Don't just assume he's telling the truth. That's enough. Before we do anything, I'd like to confirm something with the stuffed animal here. If one of us really did kill her, that person gets to graduate from the high school, right? Come on. Don't play dumb. That's what you said. If you kill someone, you get to leave. What does that mean? So you're just so naive. It's just that, right, really that easy? You could just kill someone and waltz on out of here? You're super naive, devilishly naive, hellish naive. No, that's the real thing. Are you ready? Allow me to explain the second part. Just like I explained before, you must kill someone if you want to leave. However, even if you do that, there's still one more part to the agreement you have to uphold. You're referring to the number six school rule. Okay. In other words, bingo, it's not enough to just kill someone, you have to actually get away with it. Which naturally means you need a system in place to assess whether or not it's been gotten away with. Everyone will gather together, including the black and who committed the murder. And they will spot the suit and the spotless students will all engage in one big debate showdown. During the trial, you'll have to present your arguments about who you think the blackened is. Really? And once everything comes to an end, the outcome will be decided by popular vote. If the huh. answer you've arrived at is correct, only the one that disturbed mm. your peace will be punished. Mm. The rest may continue their communal life. However, if you choose poorly, then the one who got away with they the will survive. will survive. And the rest of you will receive your punishment. Which oh my god. means your school life will come to an end. As far as class oh trial Lord. rules go, that's all there is to it. We're gonna die. We're gonna die, yo. Oh, we're gonna die. What exactly is the punishment you keep talking hmm. about? It's death. What? Yeah, it's death. What? You die. Execution is execution. Execution! Yes. Electric chair. Oh my god. <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane. Oh my god. If we get the culprit right, then they only die. Then only they die. But if we get it wrong, then the rest of us get executed? Implying that you didn't deal with that actually saying it. It's basically the outside world calls a lay judge system or an inquisition type thing, which means you'll be deciding who you think the killer is. But judge carefully because all your lives are at stake. Let me just add the rule I just described to your handbook. Make sure to keep it in mind. Hey! Listen, hold on a second, if you're freaking insane. A class trial? What the hell is this? I don't want anything to do with it. Why not? What do you mean, why not? Why do I have to waste my time trying to figure out who murdered someone? Are you saying you're not gonna participate in the trial? Only punishment awaits such blasphemy. What punishment? I mean, I don't know. Throw you in a deep, dark, scary prison or something. <laughs> so don't be so selfish. You're the one being selfish. The evil standing here before me. I'm trembling with fear. But I won't give in to such evil. It's my style to stick it out and resist to the very end. If you really want to get out of here, you'll have to go through me first. Oh, God. Are you oh. enjoying yourself now? Oh. Are you? Oh. Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is not uh -oh. allowed. Uh oh. I invoke the mighty summon spell. Help to me, godly spear, Gunnier. Uh oh. right there her eyes shot wide open and just like that she never moved again yo oh my god everybody is dying left and right oh my god oh my god oh my god everybody's dying i really wanted to keep a corpse from popping up for no good reason but i guess y'all need to be taught a lesson oh great great Wonderful. Now you see just how serious I am. Defy Wonderful. Me and you get shot full of holes, exploded, buried alive, disintegrated, etc. I like Jungle! So, if you don't want that to happen to you, you best obey those school regulations. Oh, oh God, she's dead. She's dead. 
is the death of a human being. It's really not that shocking. She just died, okay? Oh my god. This is reality. Why did you have to kill her? I changed my mind. Now you want to you you've been wanting to kill us this entire time. So don't be silly. You can't kill. Or are you being metaphorical? Are you saying I wanted to waste time this whole time? Come on, what do you take me for? I'm not a Kuma. Anyway, none of that matters right now. I have something I'd like to give you to help in your search for Blacken. This little file has all the information I've gathered about the death in question, I like to call it. I mean, naturally, you guys aren't experts at this kind of thing, so you can only do so much with a corpse. So instead, I've gathered up everything I know about the circumstances and cause of death. What's that? How do I know the cause of death, you ask? Because surveillance cameras pick up the whole thing. I got to see it all go down. So you know who killed her? Of course I do. If I didn't, I couldn't possibly pass a fair and accurate judgment during a trial, now would I? And that's a good point. Okay. Well. Now please put your full effort behind your investigation. Seriously, you don't have a choice. Okay, we'll meet up for a class trial in a little while. And with that, he disappeared again. He left us at a total loss. Oh my god. And for those... And for who knows how long, nobody said a word. The fact that Siaka and Junko are dead are a huge shock. But there's more to it than that. It was also an idea that one of us had actually murdered someone. And we gotta find out who did it or we all die here. All right, now we gotta question everybody, man. Good God. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna stop it right there. My girl Sayaka, my assistant, is now dead. My girl Junko that I was feeling is now dead. So, I'm upset. I'm upset, I'm hurt, and uh, I gotta find out who, who's the killer, man. I gotta find out who's the killer, and I gotta question everybody next episode. I shouldn't get attached. I shouldn't get attached to nobody. I shouldn't get attached to nobody at all. That's what this game is teaching me. So, if you guys like the video, make sure you leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Be back with another episode of this, and, Re and Resident Evil, and freaking Final Fantasy, all of that. God. I'll see y'all later. Deuces.